In the previous video, I introduced this scatter graph that I've drawn, which shows a number of countries, and I've plotted their life expectancy against their birth rate. Now, I chose the life expectancy to be the horizontal axis and the birth rate to be the vertical axis. Now, by rights, uh, I could have quite easily just swapped those around. Okay? Um, and you might think, well, does it really matter which one we plot uh, horizontally and which one we plot vertically? Well, traditionally, what we do is we plot the independent variable along the horizontal axis and the dependent variable on the vertical axis. Now, in this case, when we're talking about life expectancy and birth rate, do we think that the life expectancy depends on the birth rate or do we think that the birth rate depends on the life expectancy? Now, the reason why I've chosen this example first is because it's difficult to say. Um, and that's kind of what you've got to deal with in some cases with statistics. Uh, it's not always completely clear cut whether actually one of these is a dependent variable or not. So, in this case, it's not obvious. So, because it's not obvious, yeah, you could swap uh, those axes around, and that would probably be perfectly fine. However, there is going to be some data that you collect where it is going to be more obvious which one is the independent variable and which one is the dependent variable. So, let's take a look at this example here. So, we've got the weight of crop yielded and the amount of rainfall whilst the crop is growing. So, which one of these is the independent variable? Now, if I just say which is the independent variable, that, you know, might be quite difficult to answer. But usually it's easier if you read it this way. Does the weight of the crop yielded depend on the amount of rainfall whilst the crop is growing? Or does the amount of rainfall whilst the crop is growing depend on the weight of the crop yielded? Well, when you say, does the amount of rainfall depend on the amount of crop yielded, that's clearly ridiculous. Okay, because um, that would be assuming that um, if the crop was larger, then um, the rainfall kind of like knew it had to get larger as well. Okay, so there had to be more rainfall, which doesn't make any sense. So clearly, the weight of the crop yielded depends on the amount of rainfall. It's that way round, which means that this is the independent variable and this one is the dependent variable. Okay, so you would plot amount of rainfall along the horizontal axis and the weight of the crop yielded on the vertical axis. So this might be um, for um, either several over several seasons or it might be uh, in different fields um, or in different parts of the country where the amount of rainfall can be recorded and the weight of the crop yielded, and then you would plot that data on your scatter graph. Okay? So, just so that you remember that the independent variable is drawn horizontally and the dependent variable is drawn vertically, and sometimes it's not obvious.